Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu. You know me for a lot of automation with UiPath. Today we'll talk about automation, but we'll talk about another software. We'll talk about Good Legal. So Good Legal is an um, uh, automation platform for legal stuff made by my friend Vasile from uh, UiPath, the uh, lawyer from UiPath. So we will see how we automate legal stuff with Good Legal. But first, before uh, we'll um, do this uh, uh, thing, uh, let's let's understand what we have inside of the uh, legal automation yeah so on a normal legal document you will have the lawyer that made the, the document the guys from the finance the cfo that will work on the document so basically you will have the word document that will be shared uh, and modified you will use um, something like g drive or um, um, uh, to be able to share the document you will use the mail you will use the excel to see the difference uh, to uh, to count the difference between the documents. So you use the software to move documents be inside of your company. After you you finish the document inside of your company, you can work also with the client inside of the Word and so on and use emails and so on. You will go and sign this document with DocuSign or you put it on Salesforce to have um, connect to the client, you export to PDF, you send to the client to the email. So you use all these type of softwares to be able to create a legal document and you have to trace all the um, um, all the difference and all the stuff inside the, of this document so instead of using all this software all this, this platform the idea of the legal document is to have everything in a point and to be able to sign the elements here to be able to edit the elements here to be able to trace all the difference here to be able to share it with the client to be able to store everything inside of one um, uh, one point for the all the elements from the automation, the legal automation. Okay, so you'll create an account on um, uh, uh, Good Legal, and after you create the account on Good Legal, I will show you how to use it. So first, I'm here as Christian Negulescu, yeah, and I go here on settings, and I will invite different pro, uh, different um, uh, person to be able to work with my account. So. In my case, I will invite uh, here, um, I have here uh, the Christian uh, client demo and we'll have also uh, 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 another user. I will invite here uh, Bigu, let's say co-worker, co-worker, yeah. So I'll put the co-worker and I'll put the co-worker from finance, from finance, yeah. So I have two users that are invited to call, uh, call to to work with me on the documents. Good. So what I will do? I will create first an workspace. Yeah, I will create a first uh, an workspace, and the name of the workspace will be uh, my work. And here we'll put uh, workspace work Christian. Yeah. Inside of the workspace, because I have a location where I will create this document, I will create a folder. So I will create a folder and will be my first folder, my first folder. Good. So I create this one. Now, I want to start to automate something in the legal part. What I will do? I will go to libraries and on the uh, um, libraries, I have templates. I can have templates that are say, uh, saved on my, uh, on my system. I can have templates from my organization or I can have templates from marketplace. So think about that. A lot of people will share here um, uh, templates inside of the, uh, the system. So instead of you going to um, uh, different lawyers on different uh, firms, you will come here and you'll find templates from different regions of the world. You will have. So here it's a huge advantage of the platform to be able to share with you templates that are uh, defined for Romania, templates that are defined from lawyer companies to US and so on. So if you want more details, the, the company will put you in, in connection with exactly the, the guys that provide us our templates. So for the lawyer companies, it's a very good um, stuff to have uh, templates in our software to be able to advertise themselves to work with new companies and so on. So these templates are connect, uh, are uh, made on countries. You can be on the language of the countries, could be on different industries, on sales. So you have a huge amount of documents, of templates, that allow you to start and to find the, the, the starting point for uh, your uh, stuff. Yeah, 
and you have a good starting point. And in this way, you will be able to work um, very fast and agile to a new jurisdiction. So I will, I will take this document and I will put it in my personal, uh, my personal um, um, document. So let's say that I will go on this document and I will say import, yeah? So I will import this document and this document, I will put it on my works, yeah? And on my uh, folder, yeah? So from the multiple uh, multitude of the, uh, the documents from the marketplace, I will select one for my jurisdiction, for my, um, my industry, and on the language that I want. And then I will start modifying this template how I want. Good. So I have here a template, yeah? But when I go to a client, I will sign a document, yeah? So from this template, I will say duplicate as a document. So I'll create a document. And the document will be found here inside of the documents folder. Good. Me, Christian, I will go and modify something on the document. And I will go here on the signatures and I will say Christian UA path. Yeah. I will say Christian UI path. Good. And I will hit save. And I will say that this document, so here I can put also Christian, Christian, and all the details. I will not. So I will hit save. So this is on my um, uh, uh, on my login. Yeah. I have here my Christian Christian account open in Google Chrome. I have another account. I have coworker, which is Big UGG. It's open in Mozilla, yeah? And I have the client open in Microsoft Edge, yeah? So I want you to show you how the document will move between these two, uh, these um, uh, three entities. And basically you don't need to use my, uh, you don't need to use uh, email, SharePoint or other stuff and everything will be tracked inside of the same system, yeah? So as a Christian, I modify the document and I say that I want a review. Yeah. And the review person will be client demo. For example. And I will say that the client has to review the document. Done. So we are go to um, my Microsoft page where I am logging as a client. I will hit refresh. And when I will find uh, hit refresh, I will go here on your iPad. You will see that I have a document for review. Yeah. So the client was informed that has a document for review. He will open the document. So I'm inside of the documents. You will open the document. And on the document, you will see that I put Christian and he will put his name. For example, uh, my client, my client. How will he delete? Let's hit here, uh, delete on this one. And I will say, uh, no, no, first I have to accept the review. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. So someone send me the data to review, then I have to accept the review. After I accept the review, I will delete here and I'll say my client. And I'll put also here my client. Okay. Here I will accept. I will accept the modification. I will send the modification and I will approve the review. Okay. Now, if I come back to Christian on the document, I will see that I have the document. Uh, um, you see here it's updated. So I have my client, I have here client. Now the next the next step, it's for me, it's to sign yeah, the document. So who will sign? I will sign the document, the client will sign the document and also my colleague from the 
Finance department will sign the document. So let's understand how we'll sign this on the document. So everything is tracked inside of the system. You see all the modification that we have, it's only on one place on this platform. So we'll go and say sign, and we'll see me as an initiator of the document. I will sign the flow and I will explain what we want to sign. So first, I have to sign as a Christian. Yeah? I say that also uh, uh, big with Gigi from finance, uh, uh, let's say CFO, has to sign the document, yeah? And also the client has to sign the document. The client in our case is Christian at uh, yahoo.com. Okay, so I need a CFO to sign the, the document here with me. And I need the client to sign the document, okay? So I will say send sign. So this will inform everyone from the system that they have to sign the document. So I modify the template. I create the template. I um, uh, share the template with the client. Client modify the template how I want. I decide that the document is good. And now I decide who to sign, yeah? So me, as Christian, I'm inside of the, uh, uh, the good legal and I have to sign the document. And I will go first and sign the document. I will go here, find my signature and hit sign. So I sign the document, but I have to go here on my uh, colleagues from coworker. So Big Gigi with my coworker. And on my coworker, you will see that also Big Gigi has to sign this document. So I will go here as a document for sign. You will see that is the CFO. I hit sign. And the document. Is, and the last one, if I go to Microsoft Edge and here I will refresh, you will see that also the, uh, the client has a document to sign. And if I see it here, sign you'll see that also the client has to sign this one. So I will select this one and sign. Okay. Good. So all the people sign the document. Yeah. And now you see that the client already knows that the document is signed. So everyone from the system has the document with all the signs. Here we have all the signatures. And here you have all the details from the signatures. Yeah. So in this way, I will also store my uh, uh, I will also store my documents inside of the uh, uh, the go to legal platform. So inside of go to legal platform, the document from today is this one. Generic. I don't change the name of uh, of of the document, and I have all the three signs with Christian CFO and the client. So. Remember the picture. Instead of having emails, instead of having modify words, working with um, emails or sharing uh, data via um, G Drive, or having DocuSign and so on, I have only one platform where everyone can modify the document, everyone can agree that everything is okay, and then the document will be signed and we wait until everyone will sign the document and we'll be able to keep, keep the document inside of the um, this platform. So the idea of go to legal is to have everything from the legal structure in one place with all the tracking that is able to uh, very fast to view for the client, for the finance department, and for me as owner of the uh, of the system so that is the advantage of the integrated system to have a platform where you can find very easy this system and remember inside of the uh, uh, inside of go legal you have the marketplace where you will have a lot of templates from different parts of the world that will allow you to start your uh, to help you on the legal part to start from a, a very nice point with a lot of details instead of going to a lawyer fee, a farm uh, come uh, get the data and so on so you have a huge advantage to keep all the data 
in one place and be to have a lot of templates that allow you to have a nice start even you if you don't have a huge experience on the on the legal part so go to uh, good legal try to use it and for the startups will be a very very nice stuff for any other type of questions please um, uh, subscribe to my channel and ask me what else you want to see on my channel thank you very much for watching have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.